and Dragon Museum. So today we talk about Grim Thunder event, which is dedicated to Mort, the new Dark Titan, which allows you to life steal from the opponent, which I really appreciate. So first of all, you need to log in two times during this event. Next, we have reach VIP up to sevens. Next, we have get VIP points. So not just by emeralds, but you can get special bundles. You can get a totem. I'll show you right now the options. So just get VIP if you want. Next, we have spending emeralds. So spending emeralds up to 120,000. So if you really want Mort to participate at your team, then maybe you can consider doing that. But well, actually, I assume it's much easier to get the bundle and get more dolls, and that's how you get more. Or if you have a huge budget and you got them at X4, then maybe you can afford that, but I don't know. I don't know. Next, we have spending energy. So spending up to 16,000 energy. This quest is typical, so according to the previous calculations, I'll show you what I have here. Everything is pretty same. So we have the Green Hunger energy calculation, and we see that it's easy to get to 1000. You just need to trade 120 energy as 50 emeralds twice, and you are pretty there. So you can do it every day, it's cheap, it's good, even without events. Easy to sound. Then we have to trade 100 into 120. For the last option before the yellow line, you also can do with 150. And after the yellow line, this part you can just do what you think is right. So every day you spend all the offers until you get to the 200 offer. After that, you know the amount of times you need to trade before you get what you need. So I don't know the random drops from your platinum boxes. Maybe you have some bottle energy reserved for this event. So that's the way how you kind of spend just enough to do everything. So every day below the yellow line, you collect everything until you have the 200 offer. At last day, you calculate what you need and get it. That's the plan. Let's move on to the other part. So the next part is Outland. Outland up to the 230 chests. I already told you that that's really a lot. And well, if you have a huge amount of emeralds, that can be valuable, but we can have some problems. So easy way is to get nine free chests. Every day you open one chest of each boss. That's three a day, that's nine chests. Then you can use the 90 offer, so if you do it all the time, you easily collect 36 chests. So just every day you spend 180 for every type of boss, and uh, as a result, you see that for 1620 emeralds, you get 35 chests easily. Below the yellow line, you start to use the 200 offer, then you can start the final offer, which I recommend to do as 10 plus 5. So you save 500 emeralds and you open the same amount of chests as if you open 2 plus 1. The only option where you have a choice, which is kind of simple, that's the pre last option 175. So there you can grab more, you can grab 183. If you press several times on 15 offer, or you can grab 175 and save 2000 emeralds. So as you think which is right, you can choose here. But in general, in general, I would say that please plan your budget wisely. We all need skin stones for new heroes, no doubt. So check the amount of emeralds you can afford for this event and uh, plan how you spend energy, how you spend emeralds. Next we have, the next part is upgrade any titan skin two times. So to do this quest, you see that I already did 13. The way is pretty simple. You go to your titans, go for it. Then you check the titan which skin is lowest level because this amount is just madness. So we go to bottom level titans, for example, heroes. 
or for example silver and we upgrade her skin several times so till you have level 10 or 15 so pr probably level 15 should be okay so then you go to the next character upgrade him to level 10 or 15 etc et so that's how you get more levels with cheaper price also you can find a great offer of your titan for example the champion skin stone for angus and uh, i'll press it several times so that's the cheapest possible option right and we are getting useful stats at the same time we do the quest as easy as that same you can do with moloch same you can do with sigurd maybe for his last skin unless he is your main tank so we still have options how to do it cheap and what do we have here so plus 10 skin easy right so summon mort check his skin that's level one and upgrade him as hard as possible that's the way how you do this quest. finally we have upgrade titan by 80 levels so all my titans of elements are maxed titan of darkness isn't maxed yet and obviously i will buff more because that's the cheapest way how you can do this quest and get more of his souls so that's my idea now let's go to the kind of the part where i try to do the right thing about that so here we go let's collect some parts let's summon mort and do what i was talking about and uh, also i would like to highlight that we have some bundles which allow you to get emeralds to do the quest so if you don't have enough emeralds you can get that today other options will be next day, the day after, so something else, not emeralds probably. So check this out if you need it. Also a special offer of the Dark Totem, Dark Totem Spirit. So I'm not sure if one part can do something, but check this out so you get a bundle where you can get opening later. So it's like bad luck protection, then open this one. So let's move to the titan section and uh, upgrade the morse right so let's check the dolls i'm not sure if this one can now summon light or dark totem probably they told that was a bug so i will just save it till better time let's open more dolls check what's inside as usual so we have many dolls inside we have artifacts titan potions some super titan souls, his souls, artifact chest seals, gold. And what I really like is this boxes. So ancient titan artifact chests. As a result, from this Morse dolls, you can get valuable items for your titans, including the essence of elements, which I really like because my artifacts are still far, far away from Max. And also we get skin stones, which is great for this particular event. So the more dolls you open, the more skin stones you get, the higher level you have, and the more quests you can do. That's, that's just what I wanted to show you. Okay, so let's go to the section where we can finally improve Mort, summon him, get his artifacts, and get even more souls of Mort. Let's see how far I can go with the strategy at day one, okay? Yeah, so it's time to go to end buff mode. So we go to Guild Island, I guess to Circle of Summoning or to Titans, and here we go. So that's Mort. Nice to meet you, Mort. That's probably the only part where you can see him like this. Next, we can get his level up. So let's get him a level up. So they say we need level 80, right? So let's try to do it. Now you see my resources. So I showed you the amount of potions you need to do it. And as you see, that's not enough. Let's try to buff his skin too. Okay, I'm stuck. What else can we do? We can go great here and the darkness so let's awaken his elemental armor artifact and uh, his uh, 
particular evolution of the balance seal. So balance seal allows you to improve the stats of this Titan. And I really think that that's one of most important parts now, because you will fight against all Titans, which means you need stats. This one protects you against light Titans, which will not be super powerful for a long time ahead, before they are released, before the teams are collected, etc. Same about this one. So they boost the attack damage dealt to light Titans, and twice as effective in offense, which means, as I thought, that dark Titans are good for offense. But still, we don't need it now, because not many light Titans around actually zero. So, okay, you saw that I had 13 million, 13 million gold. So how far I can go with that? Probably not too far, right? So only level 72. Let's fix that. So let's fix what happened here. Let's get a few more levels. We go to Circle of Summoning. As you can see, I prepared a huge amount of spheres to do that. And uh, let's open like 100, maybe 200. So let's, let's open 200 something. I need more souls. I need more resources here. Dungeon. And at the dungeon, I collect a huge amount of souls and extra spears, and that's how I get my resources. Okay, so another crit. So we have five crits today. That's pretty great. Now let's go to merchant. I trade everything, I guess, into potions. So almost everything, okay. And uh, all other into gold. So I have 12 million gold and I have a huge amount of potions. Is that enough for more or not? Let's check this out. So 123,000 Titan potions. Okay, we have level 80, which is nice, but far from enough to get him max, right? Anyway, we did the quest, so let's evolve him here. And we need more souls. So what about his ability? His skill says the Mort buffs allies for 7 seconds, granting them 30% vampirism and boosting their attack by 5% for each 10% of missing health. So actually that's a buff for attack and vampiric aura around. So let's grab our prize, let's keep buffing Mort and see if he can fight. So I would like to check. The idea with Mort as a part of my team and what we can afford with that will be painful. I know we need to keep surviving. After we broke the barrier, we go back to ultimate and just have a nice drill. Okay, so almost there. Totem is up. And that's really close. I know that, yes, that's really close. So we win or we lose. We lose, but that was really close. So the result is pretty similar. You still can win without using Dark Tide. Okay, so let me draw a conclusion because that came too long. First of all, you can win without dark titans. Yes, I know that I had problems, I know that it's not so easy as I told you, but still you can win. For example, you can use this team and just break Okay, something went wrong, but I guess I still can win. What about water? Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos and good luck to you.